for the first time in human history, the spoken word has as much reach as the written word, if not more. Everybody can listen. Human beings have been listening for millennia. I'm not sure how long we've been reading. I think we've been reading for about 500 years. In 1440, Johann Gutenberg invented what came to be known as the printing press. I think the first thing he bashed out was a series of Bibles known as the Gutenberg Bibles. But the real contribution of the printing press was the mass dissemination of information across the planet. Before the printing press, it was hard to share information. What are you going to do? Write it by hand? That takes a long time. Gutenberg invented the printing press and in doing so democratised information as opposed to simply having it in the hands of a small bunch of powerful intellectuals. Now, anybody, more or less, could access this information given some time and of course the capacity to read. But you know with YouTube you don't even know, have to know, how to read. All you need to do is know how to listen and watch and it's so darn available. All you need is a device and all you need is a working Wi-Fi connection. And both of these are becoming increasingly available to everyone around the planet. For the first time in human history, the spoken word has the same reach as the written word, if not more. We're in the midst of a new revolution. It's not the Gutenberg revolution, but it's like it and it could be bigger. You might call it the YouTube revolution. So, what does this have to do with the flipped classroom?